Do it yourself. Simple skills, big results. How to tell which side of a capacitor is positive? Have you ever found yourself staring at a capacitor, wondering which side is the positive terminal? This is a common question, especially for those new to electronics. Let's break it down step by step. First, you need to know that not all capacitors are polarized. For example, ceramic capacitors are usually non-polarized, meaning you can connect them either way. However, electrolytic and tantalum capacitors are polarized, and getting their orientation wrong can cause serious damage to your circuit. For polarized capacitors, the key is in the markings. One of the most common methods is the use of plus, plus and minus signs. The positive terminal is usually marked with a plus sign, plus, and this is often near the longer lead. On the other hand, the negative terminal is marked with a minus sign, NAS, or a stripe along the body of the capacitor. In through-hole electrolytic capacitors, the longer lead is typically the positive terminal, while the shorter lead is the negative. You might also notice a gray-colored area on the casing, which corresponds to the negative lead. For surface mount capacitors, things can be a bit different. Here, a colored band or stripe on the side often indicates the negative terminal. For instance, in tantalum capacitors, the stripe usually marks the positive terminal, but in some cases, it can indicate the negative terminal. So it's crucial to check the specific markings. Another way to identify the polarity is by looking at the capacitor's body. Sometimes there's an indented band or a chamfered edge on the can of electrolytic capacitors, which indicates the positive terminal. When working with a circuit board, check the PCB markings. You'll often see plus and negative symbols next to the capacitor pads, which directly indicate where to place the positive and negative leads. The negative pad is usually smaller than the positive pad, which can also help you identify the correct orientation. Using a multimeter can also be helpful in determining the polarity if you're unsure. By following these simple guidelines, you'll be able to correctly identify and connect your capacitors, ensuring your circuits work smoothly and safely. So next time you're working with capacitors, remember to check those markings carefully.